Ava, Ava na shira, shir hallelujah, shir hallelujah. Ava, Ava na shira, shir hallelujah, shir hallelujah. Ava, Ava na shira, shir hallelujah. Shir hallelujah, hava hava na shira. Shir hallelujah, shir hallelujah. Let us sing together, sing hallelujah, sing a song of praise. Let us sing together. Sing hallelujah, sing a song of praise. Hava, hava na shira, shir hallelujah, shir hallelujah. Hava, hava na shira, shir hallelujah, shir hallelujah. Havana Shira, Shir Hallelujah. Let us sing together a song of praise. And Shabbat is our song of praise that we use to celebrate the closing of the week. As we look back on this past week, we can count many blessings. I feel, I don't know about you, even though it's super hot outside, my goodness, summer is indeed here, but I feel filled with blessings this week. I think there's just a, a, a feeling that that oppressiveness of, of COVID, even though it's not gone, is really, really lifting. We see it reflected in the congregations throughout the city as this week, I think uh, the larger congregations have written uh, statements of their new policies. Ours is coming too. Ours is a little more complicated because we're smaller, so we, you know, as the larger congregations kind of let more and more people in, they also have lots of space to uh, kind of accommodate. Um, and so ours is coming. We're hoping to have it all together by next week. Nonetheless, it's wonderful to see so many faces here in the congregation. Um, the, some, some of you I, I haven't prayed with in person in 15 months, just seeing you on little Zoom boxes or on your computers. It's wonderful to have you here. As we look back on this week of blessings, we just take it all in and welcome Shabbat. Our opening song together can be found on page two. The words, Shir is song, Shiru Ladonai Kol Haaretz, sing a new song to all the earth. Shiru Ladonai, Shir Hadash, let us sing together a new song. Shiru Ladonai Boharetz Shiru Ladonai Shir Hadash Shiru Ladonai Boharetz Shiru Ladonai Shir Hadash Sing unto God all the earth a new song I will sing a new song unto God Sing unto God and we'll all sing along All the earth a new song unto God Ladonai Kol Haaretz Shiru Ladonai Shir Hadash I will sing unto God a new song So many blessings that fill our Shabbat 
I want to just also point out that this week we're trying to, as we kind of reconvene as a community, uh, you all have name tags on, which is super helpful uh, for everybody to get to know each other again. And some, you, know, you know my memory with names, it's not always the best. So it's great too for me to go, oh yes, of course, I can remember you just because I can, not just because I can see your eyes, but I can see your name tag. <laughs> As we uh, embrace the joys of this past week, we celebrate the birthdays of Rita Williams, John Reed, Roy Scheinbaum, Buddy Sussman, Don Aaron, Stuart Rosen, Barbara Bennett, Renee Carroll, M.M. Feld, Samuel Touche, Aaron Perkins, Suzanne Fleckman, Arna Isman, uh, Laura Horn, Jacob Golden, Owen Siegel, Ginger Silverman, and the anniversaries of Justin and Ginger Greenberg, Michael and Karen Frumovitz, Craig and Jen Burko, John and Lisa Reed, and it was a joy to celebrate this past week, my 19th wedding anniversary with Becky, and uh, we don't take these moments for granted. We celebrate life and the joy that uh, Shabbat brings as we turn in our prayer books to page six uh, for the lighting of our Shabbat candles. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha-ha-ha-ha-lam Asher kichanu v'mitzvotav V'tzivanu L'echad likne L'echad likne Shel Shabbat seven we continue together let us praise our eternal, eternal God creator of the universe who hallows our lives through commandments and commands us to kindle the lights of Shabbat may God bless us with Shabbat joy may God bless us with Shabbat holiness may God bless us with Shabbat peace amen amen on page seven I mean on page eight we continue we sanctify the day with the Kiddush. Praised are you, eternal our God, ruling spirit of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Maruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, morei peri hagofen, amen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kichanu v'mitvotav, v'ratzavanu, v'shabbat kodsho, v'ava uvratzon, inilanu, zikaron lemaase b'reishit, Ki hu yom tehila l'mikrai he kodesh zecher letziat mitzrayim ki vanu v'charta v'altanu ki dashta mikol hamim. Shabbat Kodshecha Be'ava Uvratzon Inhaltanu Baruch Ata Adonai Mikadesh HaShabbat Our 
Our service continues now as we turn to page 11 and rise for our call to worship. Baruchu et Adonai Hamvorach, praise the eternal God to whom all praise is due. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Va'ed. Let us praise the eternal God to whom all praise is due now and forever. Arechu et Adonai Hamevora. Arechu et Adonai Hamevora. Baruch Adonai Hamvora. Leolam vae. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Va'ed Barechu et Adonai Ha'mevorach Barechu et Adonai as the universe whispers of a oneness that pulses through all that is, the human spirit longs for connection and unity. Beyond the mysteries of the heavens above, within the complexities of the earth below, resides a power which echoes of your eternal order. Beyond the drama of our daily toil, within each of life's highs and lows, reside hidden sparks of your divine wisdom. As we sing of the oneness of God, we rejoice in the wonders of the universe and remind ourselves that all we see and do bears witness to the source of our existence. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Eternal is our God, the Eternal God is one. Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Va'ed. Let us praise God who rules in glory forever and ever. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Le'olam Va'ed Please be seated as we continue in the Hebrew on page 14 or transliterated on page 15. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavcha uvechol nafshecha uvechol meodecha Ve'hayu hadvarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavecha Hayom al levavecha, Vishinan taham levanecha, Vidi barta baham, Bishiv techa bebe techa, Uvelech techa va derech, Uvishok becha uv kumecha, Ukshar tam le oat, Ayadecha, Vehayu letota boat, Bain e necha, Uchtav tam, Al mizuzot de techa, Uvish arecha, Leman tis keru, Vaasitem et komits votai, Vitem kedoshim, Lelo hechem, Ani Adonai Elohechem. 
אשר חוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם. You shall love the eternal God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words which I command you this day shall be upon your heart. You shall teach them diligently unto your children, and shall speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, they shall be a symbol before your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, that you may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. The Eternal One led you out of Egypt to be your God. The Eternal One alone is your God. The eternal truth is that you alone are God and there is none else. Through your power alone has Israel been redeemed from the hand of oppressors. Great deeds have you wrought on our behalf and wonders without number. You have kept us in life. You have not let our footsteps falter. Our faith has sustained us through long years of oppression. And now that we live in this land of freedom, may we continue to be faithful to you and your ways. Our God, our refuge, and our hope, we glorify your name now, as did our people in ancient days. Who is like you, Eternal One? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awe-inspiring, working wonders? <laughs> Mi kamocha nehedar ba kodesh nora, nora, nora tehilot, o sefele. Mi kamocha ba helim Adonai, mi kamocha nehedar ba kodesh nora, nora, nora tehilot, o sefele. Malchut ha rauvanecha, bokea yam lifne moshe. Zeli, zeli, anu veyameru. Zeli, zeli, anu veyameru. Mihamocha ba elim Adonai, mihamocha nehedar ba kodesh nora, nora, nora tehilot, o sefele. Mihamocha ba elim Adonai, mihamocha nehedar ba kodesh nora, nora, nora tehilot, o sefele. We continue on page 21. Give us, O oh God, the strength to face the future with hope and courage. Grant us the wisdom to see that from life's discords and conflicts, we may also draw blessing. Help us understand that we are called upon not only to enjoy the richness of the earth, but to exalt in the heights attained after the toil of climbing. Let our darkness be dispelled by your love, that we may rise above fear and failure. May each of our steps along life's path be sustained by faith, 
For you, O oh God, fill our lives with meaning. The Shameru Bene Israel et Hashabat La so et Hashabat Bedorotam Berito Lam The Shameru Bene Israel et Hashabat Lahasot et hashabat, ledorotam berit olam. Vein hiu vein b'nei Yisrael, vein hiu vein b'nei Yisrael. O ti le'olam, o ti le'olam. Shameru Bene Israel et Hashabat La Sot et Hashabat Adoro Tamerito Lam Kisheshet Yahamim Kisheshet Yahamim Asa Adonai et Hashemayim ve'ahet aret v'shameru b'nei Yisrael et Hashabat la'asot et Hashabat adorotam berit olam. Uvayom Hashvi Shavat Vahina Fash Shameru Bene Israel at Hashabat Laso at Hashabat Adoro Tamberit Olam. Together, the people of Israel, Israel shall preserve the, the Sabbath, Sabbath, observing the Sabbath throughout the generations as a perpetual covenant. It is a bond between God and the people of Israel forever. Please rise as we join together in the Tefillah on page 23. Adonai sifatai tifta ufi agita hilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu velohe avotenu veimotenu. Elohe Avraham, Belohe Sarah, Vehol Dorotam, Hael, Hagadol, Hagibor, Vehanora, El Elyon, Gomel, Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vizoher Haste Avot, Vimahot, Ume Vig Ula, Libne Venehem, Leman Shemo Be Ahava, Melech Ozer, Moshia, Umagain, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magain Avraham Bezrat Sarah. We praise you, God of our mothers and fathers, God of Abraham and Sarah and all their generations. You bestow loving kindness upon all your children. You remember the devotion of those who came before us. In your love, you bring redemption to their descendants for the sake of your name. You are our ruler, our helper, our savior and protector. We praise you, Eternal One, shield of Abraham, help of Sarah. Together, eternal, eternal is your power, power O God. God. You, you are mighty to save. save. In loving kindness, you sustain the living. In the multitude of your mercies, you preserve us all. You uphold the falling and heal the sick, free the captives, and keep faith with your children in death as in life. Who, Who is, is like, like you, Almighty God, God author, author of life, life and death, death source of salvation. We praise you for you have implanted within us eternal life. 
Please be seated as we continue in our prayer for peace on page 28. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to banish war, for you have filled the world with paths to peace, if only we would take them. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to root out prejudice, for you have given us eyes with which to see the good in all people, if only we would use them rightly. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to end despair, for you have given us the power to end poverty and to give hope, if only we would use our power justly. Therefore, we pray to you, O God, for the strength, the determination, and patience to continue the never-ending work of learning peace, of seeking justice, of resisting prejudice, of guarding hope, of giving comfort, of choosing life, only then shall we know peace. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki Atahu Melech Adon Lechol ha shalom, ki atahu melech adon. Lechol ha shalom, shalom rab a Israel amcha tasim leolam. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Betov Beinecha Livarech Et Amcha Yisrael Bechol Eit Ubechol Shah Bishlomecha Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Tassim le'olam, tassim le'olam. The soul that has been implanted within each of us is pure, and our bodies are created in God's image. But there are times when heart and soul do not feel so whole, at times of illness, at times of loss, at times when we struggle with our mental health or addiction, we can often feel a sense of distance from God, a sense of distance from our community. And so on page 31, well actually we're using the other melody tonight, uh, but you'll be able to participate fully as there's very simple words. But we are, uh, uh, we have in our prayers every Shabbat, prayers for those who are in need of healing. So before we sing these beautiful words together, I invite whoever might know someone who's in need of a prayer for healing to raise your hand so we can include them in our prayers this evening. We include in our prayers also this evening, prayers for the healing of Jack Selva and Sophia Nina Gallagher, as we ask God's blessings on our friends and family and ask God to bless them with healing.
healing of body and mind and spirit, we sing these beautiful words together. with the power of your healing bless us with the power of your hope may our hearts be filled with understanding and strengthened by the power of your love bless us with the vision for tomorrow Help us to reach out to those in pain. May the warmth of friendship ease our sorrow. Give us courage, give us faith, show us the way. Mi shiberakavoteinu, mi shiberakimoteinu. Hear our prayer. 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 And bless us as well. Hear our prayer. 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 And bless us as well. The boundaries of our faith are durable. They are strong. They are resilient. And throughout our history, as a people, we have been encouraged to push them, to stretch them, to challenge them. This is all part of a process of broadening the reach and the depth of our teachings. And for many of us, that freedom to question and to push and to challenge is one of the greatest qualities that we have in our faith. In Judaism, we are encouraged never to take things at face value. We are supposed to confront our holy text and explore our religious rulings with inquisitive minds. And as we do, we increase our capacities to dig deeper and find better ways to apply what we learn to how we live. So it is against this long-standing backdrop of questioning in our culture that our Torah portion this week presents us with a bit of a conundrum. This week in congregations all over the world, we read the story of the rebellion of Korach. As the story unfolds, Korach leads a rebellion against Moses and Aaron. He holds them, uh, he accuses them of raising themselves up above the community. In Numbers 16, we read the following. Korach and 250 chiefs of the congregation organize themselves against Moses and Aaron and say to them, you have gone too far, for all the congregation of Israel is holy, not just the two of you. 
And therefore, God is among all the people, not just the two of you. So why then do you exalt yourselves above the assembly of God? In organizing his coup, Korach presents a seemingly acceptable argument to build a case against Moses and Aaron. He challenges their authority and questions why they think that they are better than everyone else. This seems like a reasonable challenge. Korach tries to use this argument to imply that he, Korach, could do better than Moses and Aaron. But God sees things differently. According to the Torah, God takes the side of Moses and Aaron, and the earth violently opens up and swallows the rebels, their families, and their possessions. Then God sends a massive firestorm to consume the 250 men who had joined Korach's rebellion. As we take a closer look at the story, the punishment seems rather harsh. And on the face of it, the storyline appears to be inconsistent with other stories that take place in the Torah. Certainly, there are other leaders within the stories of Torah that question God's authority and challenge God's decisions. The two that come to mind immediately are Abraham and Moses. Abraham argues on behalf of the innocence of Sodom and Gomorrah. And Moses repeatedly argues on behalf of the Israelites in direct opposition to God's intentions. But Abraham and Moses are not consumed by fire. Abraham and Moses are not swallowed up by the earth. So what's the difference? How are the direct challenges posed by Abraham and Moses to God different from that of Korach? The difference may be found as we explore the intentions of each of these characters. When Abraham stands up against God in the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, his intentions are in an effort to appeal to God's mercy. Abraham is arguing for leniency and compassion in God's judgment against the people of these two corrupt cities. In his quest for a merciful decree, Abraham is challenging God's authority on behalf of the few people in Sodom and Gomorrah who may indeed be innocent, who may deserve to be saved from this destruction. And Abraham, in these instances, is not trying to plead on behalf of himself. He is not looking to advance himself or gain power, but rather he is arguing on behalf of mercy and justice and goodness in the world and on behalf of these people. Similarly, Moses repeatedly argues on behalf of the Israelites to assuage God's anger. This happens after the construction of the golden calf, when God threatens to wipe out all the Israelites in a fit of rage as he sees, as Moses sees, and God sees the Israelites worshiping the golden calf. And it happens again at the end of this week's Torah portion where God, I mean, where Moses argues against God's anger after the rebellion of Korah. In each of these instances, Moses is purely standing up for his people. He is not trying to gain or maintain power, nor is he trying to manipulate the situation to his own advantage. In contrast to Moses and Aaron, however, Korach and his followers seek personal aggrandizement. While they do indeed make a very powerful and insightful argument that everyone is holy and that no one should place themselves above another, they are completely hypocritical and 100% self-serving in their actions. Self-promotion and self-advancement is exactly what Korach's rebellion is all about. He and his followers are challenging authority, not on behalf of people, 
not on behalf of mercy and goodness in this world, not on behalf of a greater good, but rather to promote themselves, that they can do a better job than Moses and Aaron. And God sees right through them. One of the lessons that we can glean from the story of Korach's rebellion is that our long-standing Jewish tradition of challenging and questioning what we think is wrong in this world, the challenge of the text and the questioning of authority, is rooted in the desire to defend and to protect a moral high ground or to promote mercy and justice and goodness in the world. This is what our tradition encourages us to do through our questioning. However, when our questions and our challenges are self-serving, our Torah presents stories like this rebellion of Korach as a cautionary tale. Don't do that. In our world today, questioning authority and rising up against power has become quite commonplace. This is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, there are plenty of aspects within our government, within our society, within the systems that we live in that need to be addressed and improved and, and uh, considered in, in the face of a better world. But as we learn from the teachings of our faith, some methods of challenging and questioning are more effective and more morally grounded than others. When we find ourselves moved to protest or moved to question and challenge the institutions of our land and the laws of our land, we need to ask ourselves questions like this. Are we acting with the integrity and the compassion of Abraham and Moses? Or are we driven by the selfishness of Korach? Do our actions represent an earnest desire to explore better ways to meet the difficulties and challenges of our society? Or are they strategies that are being employed to undermine and crush our opponents? Do we challenge the status quo uh, do, or I should say, do our challenges to the status quo represent sincere pursuits of justice and mercy and goodness in the world? Or are we merely seeking personal or political gain? If we are able to consider our actions in light of some questions like this, if we're able to measure our intuition and our uh, desires and our uh, intentions against Moses and Aaron and, and, uh, and Abraham, we might be able to help temper our behaviors to better meet the values of our faith. For the lessons of Korach are important to every generation. True it is that our faith places great value in challenging authority when we recognize injustice and inequity in the land. And our teachings have long encouraged us to resist taking things at face value. This long-standing tradition of questioning has led to a mindset in our people that seeks to promote paths to justice and mercy for all. So on this Shabbat, where we read the story of the rebellion of Korach, let this cautionary tale serve to remind us that our efforts to question and challenge the world around us need to be modeled on the behaviors of mercy and justice-seeking actions of Abraham and Moses. And we must refrain from the self-serving rebellions like that of Korach. Ken Yehiratzon, may it be so as we now turn in our prayer books to page 32, we rise as a congregation for Alenu.
unto you who spread out the heavens and established the earth. Your glory is revealed in the heavens above, and your greatness is manifest throughout the world. You are our God, there is none else. We bow our heads in reverence before the Eternal One, source of all life. Please be seated as we continue together on page 35. May the time not be distant, O God, when your name shall be worshipped throughout the earth, when unbelief shall disappear and error be no more. Fervently we pray that the day may come when all people shall be guided by your teachings. Corruption and evil shall give way to purity and goodness. Superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye. Then all, all who dwell, dwell on earth shall know that to you alone every knee shall bend and every voice give praise. praise. May all created in your image recognize, recognize that we are brothers and sisters so that one in spirit and one in harmony we may forever be united before you. Then shall your reign be established on earth and the word of your ancient prophet be fulfilled. The eternal God will reign forever and ever. On that day, the eternal shall be one, and God's name shall be one. Venemar vehayad onai, la melech al kol haaretz. Bayom hahu, bayom hahu, yehiyeh. Adonai Echad Bayom Ha'ahu Bayom Ha'ahu Yehieh Adonai Echad Ushemo Echad Ushemo Echad our thoughts now turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people, the six million who perished in the Shoah, and those of every race, nation, and faith whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. The departed whom we now remember have entered into the peace of life eternal. They still live on earth in the acts of goodness they performed and in the hearts of those who cherish their memory. May the beauty of their lives abide among us as a loving benediction. We remember with love tonight, Dennis Weiner, Esther Resnitsky, Julia Jando, Jandro, Helen Lerner, Bess Friedenthal, Ellen Davis, Marilyn Little, Dorothy Chaffin, Molly Kulnick, Kulik, Karen Cronenberg, Etty Holtman, our loved ones, the anniversary of whose death is observed on this Shabbat, 
before we rise as a congregation to recite the hallowed words of the Mourner's Kaddish, I'd like to extend an invitation to anyone here who is in a period of mourning or who may be observing a yard site this evening to rise first and speak the name of their loved one. Let us rise with those who mourn. So we turn in our prayer books to page 38 or the transliteration on 39 and join together in the mourner's Kaddish. Yit kadal v'yit kadash shemei rabah be'alma divrach hirutei v'yamlich malchutei b'chayechon u'v'yomechon u'v'chayei d'chol b'y Yisrael ba'agala u'bizman kariv v'yimeru amen. Yehesh me Raba Mavorach Leolam Ulame Amaya Yit Barach Vishtabach Vit Paar Vitrumam Vit Nase Vita Dar Vita Le Vita Lal Shime de Kudisha Brihu Leela Min Kol Birchata Vishirata Tush Bechata Venechemata Damiran me Alma Vimru Amen Yehesh Lama Raba Min Shemaya Bechaim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imaru amen. Ose shalom v'imromav hu yase shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imaru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort all who are bereaved among us and let us say amen. amen. Before our closing song and final benediction this evening, just a brief announcement, <clears throat> and that is that you should have received in the, uh, your email a uh, survey for Shabbat services. We've been kind of trying to find out, uh, there's only 11 questions, it'll only take you a couple minutes, I'm trying to find out just the this, this sense as we return together as a congregation, uh, some general interest in worship and, and uh, with the music, the time, the English, the Hebrew, uh, very simple survey. Please fill it out. It gives us more information to work with. And I will share with you tonight, one of the questions is that on, the, on the, uh, the survey is, do you like to sing? And I can hear <laughs> lots of great voices out here. If you like to sing, we have envisioned the uh, putting together of an adult choir in the future. So. Let us know you like to sing and put your name down too so we know who it is that wants to sing with us. <laughs> Our closing song will fill the sanctuary with, uh, with song and voice is on page 43 as we sing together the words, O Seh Shalom, and it has two parts, a low part and a high part. We sing together, O Seh Shalom, and ask God to bless us with peace. O say shalom, bim roma, o ya say shalom, aleinu. Ve al kol Israel, ve yimeru, amen. That was the low part. O say shalom, bim roma, o ya say shalom, Alleinu ve'al kol, ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'yimeru, amen. O se shalom, bim romal, uya se shalom, alleinu. Ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'yimeru, amen. Oh, say shalom, bim roma, oh, ya say shalom, aleinu ve'alko, ve'alko, a Yisrael, ve'yimeru, amen. Adonai oz le'amo itain, Adonai varech et amo shalom. May God grant strength to our people. May God bless us and everyone with the blessing of Shalom.
the blessing of peace. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom.